This video demonstrates the installation process of S6GC, 80-125, K-string inverter series. Attention! Electrical equipment shall only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the inverter user manual before installation and verify that all the accessories are included in the box. The inverter weighs 85 kilograms. Please utilize proper safe lifting practices when handling and installing the inverter. The inverter must be installed in a location where it will avoid direct sunlight. There must be adequate space around the inverter to allow for ventilation and head dissipation. When the inverter is operating, it generates high temperatures and voltages. Please install the inverter in a secure inaccessible location. Installing the inverter mounting bracket. Adequate space should be provided around the inverter's installation location. After determining the location where the inverter mounting bracket will be installed, fix the mounting bracket to the mounting rack using M10 fixing bolts. Tighten the nuts to 36 feet LB, 35 nanometers. Fix all four corners of the mounting bracket in the same way. Mounting the inverter. Lift the inverter above the bracket. Align the bracket holes and slide down to ensure a perfect fit. Screw the inverter fixing screws included in the package into the bottom sides of the inverter. The inverter installation is now completed. Connecting the grounded conductor. Connect the ground wire from the crimped OT terminal to the ground point on the side of the unit. Wiring the DC side of the inverter. Please use a multimeter to measure the open circuit voltages of the PV strings. Ensure that the polarities of the strings are correct and that there is no voltage from positive to ground or negative to ground. Verify that the DC voltages are within the allowable range marked on the nameplate label on the side of the inverter and does not exceed the limit. Please refer to Solis demonstration video for making of DC connection cable. When the PV array is exposed to sunlight, the PV conductors become energized with high voltage DC. Before connecting the inverter, please ensure that the open circuit voltage of the photovoltaic string does not exceed the limit of the inverter. The PV modules connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. Listen for a click sound. This it indicates that the connection is properly secured. Wiring the AC side of the inverter. Before connecting the AC cable, unscrew the four screws on the AC terminal box. Unscrew the protective cover on the AC side at the bottom of the inverter. Thread the AC cable through the black protective cover. Connect to the corresponding interface of the AC terminal box from the bottom of the AC side of the inverter. Connect the AC cable to the corresponding connector of L1, L2, L3 and P, N wire can be excluded. Tighten the nut using a socket. When all installation and testing is complete, you can tighten the black protective cover on the bottom of the inverter and close the AC terminal box. Communication connection. If a Solis data logger is being installed, please connect it to the CALM port at the bottom of the inverter. Initializing the inverter. Please first give the system a full visual inspection to ensure all conductors are terminated properly. It is recommended to give the conductors a gentle tug test. Close the AC circuit breaker. Close the DC switches. If the DC input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up. 